Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a slide on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is head right on into the game, and as you'll see, we can walk up to the ladder of our slide, and as soon as we enter, as soon as we go on the slide, we can slide right down. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that we're going to do is you need a slide in your game. It doesn't matter what the slide looks like, but you just have to make sure it has a little bit of a tilt, a little bit of an angle up top, so that we can get the player moving with some momentum. Now the cool thing about this slide is it actually doesn't have any scripts in the parts down the slide, as you can see. Down the railing, down the slide, it doesn't propel them at all, it uses Roblox physics to do that. All we do is have one part at the top of this slide and it just makes them sit and then there'll be like a ragdoll type thing and then they'll go right down the slide. So all we have to do, we can use any type of slide, we just have to work on creating that part up top and scripting it so that it'll sit the player down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new part under workspace uh, and I'm just going to name it slide start because that's what it is, it's the start of the slide. And I just want to drag it over here to the top of the slide and line it up so that it just lines up with the top or a little bit close to the top so that the player is guaranteed to hit it as soon as they hop on the slide. And we'll just scale it up a little bit, make sure to anchor it and we want to set the transparency one and can collide to false so that the player doesn't know it's there. It should be a seamless experience for them. Uh, and then after this I'm going to create a new script under the slide start and I'm just going to name it touch script but you can name it whatever you'd like. Uh, and the reason I'm naming it touch script is because, as I explained earlier, we're getting when this is touched and then we're sitting the player. The touch event is the main event of this script. So, the first line we're going to do is we're going to hook into the touched event of the part. So we'll say script.parent.touch and then we'll connect that up to a function. Uh, and all this is doing, it's getting when it's touched, when this part is touched, we're going to run the code inside of here. Uh, and inside of this function, we want to get the hit part. So whatever part hit or whatever part touched this slide start part right here. So maybe if I'm going down and my right arm hits it right when we're starting out or my left leg, it's going to get left leg as our hit part right there. Now it's important that we get this because maybe if a bird comes by, right, we have birds in our game or a banana falls down the slide, we don't want those things to trigger our slide and we don't want to make the banana sit or the bird slit. We only want to do it if it's a human, so we want to check to make sure it's a player in our game. So after this, I want to get the character from the hit part, so I'll say local character equals hit part dot parent. So of course, if our hit part is like a right leg or something like that, character would be right leg dot parent because the right leg is underneath the character. After this, I want to get the, the humanoid object underneath of the character. So I'll say local humanoid equals character colon find first child humanoid. And the reason we have to use character colon find first child rather than just saying character dot humanoid is because if it's a bird or something else that comes by, it's not going to contain a humanoid object. So we have to make sure, right, this is going to return the humanoid object if it's a character, but if it's not, it's going to return nil. So this just ensures that we're not going to error out in our code. And after this, we only have three more lines to go. All we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure that humanoid exists to make sure it's a player. So I'll say if humanoid is not equal to nil, then, and then inside of this, we just want to sit down the player so that Roblox physics can do its thing and pull them down. So we'll say humanoid.sit equals true. And that's actually all we have to do, a very, very, very simple script. Let's head into the game and we can test it out real quick. We should just be able to walk up to the top of the slide, going up our ladder. Uh, and if we hit that part, there we go, we can slide down. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pasteman link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.